All right, this is Suze Levin Tarot. Okay, so uh, today a girl told me that uh, this month is uh, the beginning of uh, Women's Month. So I'm going to get a reading together, and I probably won't get around till Saturday to do it. But I'm going to uh, plan to do one, okay, for Women's Month. And I'm going to do a quick reading for Scorpio. Algae Medicine Mother, Consume Consciously. Ooh, Sea Spirit Queen, Honor Animal Souls. So if you feel like you haven't been quite connecting with um, your fur babies or um, pet or I'm getting like even grandchildren or children, um, I feel like that kind of consumption would balance whatever this is out. Okay. Now this could be DNA, right? Okay. So... All right, so what are we ingesting in our mind and also uh, eating? Are we connecting with our meals, right, or whatever we're consuming? Okay, Coral Reef Sea Queen, environmental awareness. Okay. Okay, so this is, um, I want to say, you know, <laughs> now this looks like someone older, but it looks, it reminds me of, of, um, the activist, um, Yeah, and it's an earth sign activist. Okay, so let's say that. Earth, it's an earth sign activist. Okay. Earth sign activist. Okay. And course correct. Okay, now for some of you, this could be a man... Oh, wait, no. Okay, so this is... Oh, I don't even have the cards on. <laughs> that always it, it seems like it's been happening lately. Okay. <laughs> All right, so anyway... Okay, so this is some sort of learning curve. Okay, and it's like now I'm getting two scenarios. You could have a daughter or a daughter in law, right? Okay, that is a fire sign that's been in their emotions, okay, about, that's an earth sign, who's the earth sign? Okay, I'm getting three things. Three, it's like three different families. Okay. Earth sign, that's an activist. Okay, some things didn't go um, as planned. And it was like, yeah, the things didn't go as planned necessarily. It was a surprise. Okay, and then here is course correct. 
Okay, so um, I'm getting this as an I, like in the public eye. Okay, so all three families. It's like, it's not three families. It's like two families and one. Okay, all right, so. And I want to say this one's a Capricorn, but that could be the energy that's causing this kind of current. Okay. Now let's see what's the next card. Dolphin Spirit, activate more bliss. I think that's the problem. I feel like, it, you know, there was a card that they're showing me that came up in a ring. It was like, lighten up. I want to say loosen up, but I don't know how Scorpios would take that. <laughs> they might take that <laughs> to a next level <laughs> okay so but anyway playful right that's dolphin and activate more bliss oh i like to I, i'm a scorpio today i'd like to do that <laughs> okay all right and then we have lemurian sea sanctuary remembrance okay so i feel like it's all about soul contracts and uh, okay, now let's go down the family thing. Okay, now for the earth sign, who's an activist, I feel like it's about uh, kind of, it's a shake-up energy, but it's like trying to re cause other people to remember who they are too. All right, and it may have not uh, been received all that well because this is like surrender and and uh, then the riptide current. But anyway, it's going towards something more positive, but it just is revealing itself. It's the journey, right? Okay, and then here is the remembrance. Okay, so now some people in the two different families uh, will recognize that um, this was part of the soul contract, and some won't. Uh, right away. It may be the journey to it and having more fun to it. Okay, now there is a heart here. Okay, and these are kind of reminding me of um, like cilia that pick up little particles. Okay. So I feel like in the non-physical you've been communicating with each other. Alright, that's what I want to say. In the electric ocean. All right, now, Sacred Burial Temple. Now, embrace transition. Okay, so I feel like you all, or no matter what's going on, are moving with the calls. Okay. And it's like six-dimensional self reminding you, hey, you remember? Like that. Okay. Now, it could be, see, now this I'm picking up as Pluto energy, and that's the Capricorn over here, and you, the Scorpio. Okay. All right, now, let's see here. But whatever's going on, you want more, you want to activate more bliss, um, bring more of the heart into it rather than the mind stuff right and then um here is like a rebirth of the new and that pluto energy is like getting rid of low dense energy to move to rise up and sometimes that piscean energy uh is like that going down in the trenches to pick up the whatever it is the tools to come back up the spiral and then go through this heart chakra awakening opening and then it's like uh, more bliss more fun okay Mo going with the flow okay embracing change that was coming up today it was like uh, world card came up okay and then here is seahorse spirit create the unexpected Okay, so if you have a partner, I think it's going to, uh, things are, from now into the summer, things are going to be looking up and really bright and sunny. Okay. 
Create the unexpected. Well, Scorpio, I don't think you have to work on that because your polar opposite is that kind of Uranus Taurian energy. So it's kind of in the stars, I want to say. All right, now. Manta Ray Mother, compassionate kindness. Okay. Well, it's easy to say be kind, right? When you got all these things going on. <laughs> Okay, and that's when you want to bring out the sting, and that can be deadly, right? <laughs> okay, so Manta Ray Mother, compassionate kindness. Okay, well, good luck on that one. <laughs> okay, so, oh, okay, now for someone, this is, uh, remember the ways of mother. Okay, now for some of you, that won't resonate, but some of you... Um, even if it's a mother that's crossed over, the ways of mother will help you move in this more kind of, um, the male, if you're the male here, the male, doesn't the male have eggs? That's what they're showing me. Okay. Anyway, you're going to birth something, a bunch of eggs, a, lots of abundance coming in. So remember the positive things about mother, and that's going to help you uh, bring in this new, I want to say, era or phase or uh, enlightened period in your life, blissful period. Okay. All right. I feel like you've been through some tough times here. Okay. All right. And, um, okay. See Queen Diamond Light. Unify passions. Now that's interesting because I did the shorts and the first thing came out was like harmony and union and unify, unity. Okay, see Queen Diamond Light. Unify passions. Okay, so I get what they're saying. It's like you got one thing over here, one bun in this oven, one bun in this oven, and this oven, and it's a lot. And what that does is it can cause stress if you're not recharging and recalibrating okay and you want to um, do that take the time to rest and like consolidate where you can now traveling may uh, uh, so let's say you travel uh, within a certain space in uh, even let's just say one state or one country, right? It's like, see if you can consolidate or bring together um, those places so you're not having to go way over here and then over here and then back over there. And then and so it's like kind of streamlining your uh, schedule. And um, also that would save gas. And <laughs> I don't know why that's important, but it is in this reading for some reason. And um, I think that's for the Capricorn. And then, um, then it will get, it's like that reading that I did. It was like, then you can create space for love, that true deep connection which I feel like all Scorpios would love to do. All right, now. Woo, whale gatekeeper, innate infinite wisdom. Okay, so well, no, no matter what's going on in the outside world, you follow your own gut. Okay, that's what's most important here. Okay, and priestess of transition, honor individuality. Okay, so it's like... Not having to, it's kind of like um, not having to agree with everything and everyone um, and accepting people for who they are, right? This is a Virgo. I said, um... I'm getting wife, someone's wife. Okay, but it may not be a Virgo then. Maybe another sign. 
Let me see what I get here because I'm getting like that fiery stuff. Okay. Kind of getting Leo vibes because I'm picking up like pe peacock feathers, and for me, that's like a lot of times Leo. But then there's like these dots, so it could be emotional something or another. But anyway, Priestess of Transition, Honor Individuality. Okay, so. Lobster Spirit, Grounded Enlightenment. Okay. So. Yeah, I feel like this one brought you some pinchy pinchies. Okay, now, um, if you're the Capricorn here, you could have been doing that. Okay, but you know what I'm getting? Andy Warhol. Okay, so Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol, and who am I getting? Salvador Dali used a lot of lobster... Um, Oh, wow, these lobsters look like little feet here. Legs. Yeah, so that's an earth sign here. Okay, anyway, okay, what I wanted to say was I got Salvador Dali, then I got a phone. So it kind of feels like phone home. I'm getting this as a piece of jewelry or earring, too. Earrings or something. And it's like that, you know how lobsters and they all have that cilia and they're picking up the particles. And that's what I'm getting, like, particles. And it's like picking up the information. All right, so now whoever this one is, it could be earth sign or water sign. I want to say I'm getting Neptune energy, so it could be Pisces or Virgo. Okay, and then now if there was a married person here, your son-in-law or daughter-in-law or something like that, then that could have been an entanglement that you were trying to work through. But I feel like with this whale gatekeeper, I feel like spirit is moving with you. And it's like part of some soul contract. And what about that? Yeah, it's like they're grounding themselves, this water sign for some of them. It's an earth sign that's trying to manage their emotions. And then here's Kundalini Sea Queen. Kundalini was coming up the other day. Command self-resilience. And to me, this, okay, now, in this reading, I feel like this is like kundalini energy goes all the way up to the crown. This is kind of reminding me of, like, a yin and yang symbol or something too okay so it could have been in some duality but see the two that's the couple over here now there is a solo person that's a capricorn that is an um activist too all right now and then there's another family but i don't see how that let me see For the one, I feel like it's a male Scorpio, and he's too busy to be bothered with whatever all this is. Okay, now I feel like what needs, for that one, I feel like you need to do stress management and take more time where you're um, recharging your body. That's what I'm getting. And see, here's the sun. You are the sun. Okay, and it's like recharge that body. Command self resilience, Kundalini Sea Queen. I 
I feel like this is a man who has, who wants to be uh, in this kind of receptive energy to pick up more information. All right, now, see Goddess of Momentum. Yeah, and it's going to pick up once you rest and recharge your batteries, then you're going to be going. Okay. Ooh, Ocean Oracle. Cultivate creativity. Okay. I'm getting these as, you know, like um, when you go get an eye check or something and it's like, and you look into the thing, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Um, I feel like this is like super focused vision of what you're doing. And these I'm getting as energy uh, um, things. This kind of looks like a train, spirit train. Okay. And then moon queen of the sea. Reclaim receptivity. That's what I was talking about. I was like picking up, the, trying to pick up more information to move in this more creative energy. Okay. All right. And there's been some, yeah, challenging energy. Okay. But you've got a clear perspective. After you take time, I would do it every day. Take whatever you need, 15 minutes, 20 minutes every day, somewhere in the middle of the day or at the end of the day where you can just have uh, just time to um, yeah, return to center, to move in clarity. See, Goddess of Abundance. Okay. Right. And I feel like what's hidden beneath this kind of shark energy is some sort of abundance coming in because of it. Okay. Like, uh, and it could be just on a personal level in the family. It could be... For humanity, it could be um, all kinds of things here. Now I'm picking up Aquarius, the seven here, Saturn. Okay, so looking at cause and effect. Yeah, and see, this is the spring. Okay, that's what I'm getting. It can happen as soon as this month. That's what they said. Okay, now, botanical sea temple, blooming opportunities. They bloom into abundance. Okay, so priestess of purity, crystalline purity is, um, again, ingesting the things that will help you move in that creative energy. Pluto could have come in to bring some of these challenging uh, experiences or entanglement. You're rising above it and it's opening up to, for you to open up to new creativity so that you can move uh, with the flow of abundance that's meant for you. So celebrate the change. Okay. And whatever you've decided. Yeah, fresh creative joy. See, goddess of creativity. This is your spring. And see how this is like that lens you're seeing with clarity and, and, uh, great perception here Woo! okay so this is like a plutonian journey 
rainbow light temple inner light activation Ooh, I love it this feels good this is you're gonna love it okay so I feel like you had to make some moves just so that you can feel a little bit better but if you're worried about how it's gonna all to come together it's gonna cut work out because I feel like Especially if you're a parent and these are older children, what I'm getting is sometimes you even have to set your own boundaries, okay? And, but that doesn't mean the love's not there. It's just setting healthy boundaries. That's what I'm getting, okay? Now, if you're the activist and you happen to pop here, or you're a friend of this activist, I feel like they went a little bit further than they planned to. Okay. And that could have uh, them wanting to kind of ground themselves a little bit better. But it's all working out. Let's see what this is. The Fae of Wonder. Woo! got that the other day oh hey, hey look the lantern look how big this lantern is and it's got a little porcupine there so it might have been some porcupine things prickly all right now and the protector Is that a bee or a hornet? Oh, it's like showing where the honey is. It's like she has the knowledge. You got portal twice. Oh, look. There was portal over here. What was that? This, this is a portal. This riptide tunnel. And then you got portal over here. This is like, you know how when someone dies, right, and, um, and it's like, this is kind of reminding me of Ash. Okay, so is that a song? It's like someone from the other side giving you a message here for someone. Okay, so now, however old they are, this is how they look or feel. So when you feel for them, they're going to come up like playful and it won't be like, uh, it, it won't feel like they're a thousand years old. Okay, so that's one message. Ooh, there's a frog here. I saw this too. That's really wild. There was this child that drew this circle thing. And the heart in the house with an open window. And here's a vortex. Look, see? So this one's saying to you, it's all going to work out. The abundance is 